Welcome to Turn Right Machine Works. My name is Keith. Sorry, I couldn't resist. I want to do a quick video here about how I'm doing my driver board or my contact boards recently. Uh, as you may know, a lot of hosts that you buy out there, like the Survival Lasers hosts and the other, some of the others they don't come with a contact board um, and I, I don't want to wait um, like three weeks for, for a board to come in from China so I'm just going to show you how I've been doing it I made a little mandrel here with a 440 screw uh, tapped in the end of it and I just cut a clearance hole in the uh, in the circuit board where I want it. And the circuit board I've been using is actually a uh, it, it actually comes out of a DVD drive. It's the the board um, that has the eject motor on it. So it's kind of an interesting fact, you know power a laser with the uh, laser disk drive uh, so to now when it's when you first get your uh, piece out here what I do is I score a line on both sides of the board and then I snap where I want my piece to cut off at and then I drill this the clearance hole for the number four screw and mount it up in my lathe and then what I do is I take a razor blade and my cutoff tool here is mounted uh, the wrong way and I just hold the blade really tight up against the cutoff tool and I I uh, use that to cut a score line, a round score line on here. And you gotta be kind of careful because it wants to grab. satisfied with that I'll take it now I'll flip it over I was going to show the making of this mandrel here but I, it kind of got away from me and I didn't have time to do all of that so all right now we have it mounted in the other way and we're just going to take our Cut our parting tool and put it back approximately where it was and do the same thing now on the other side of this board. It'll be in about the same spot. It doesn't have to be perfect. You want to be careful it, it will tend to catch, especially if you have a nice sharp blade. Once you got it scored on both sides, then what you do is you just take it and wiggle it a little bit. And you'll know when you've scored deep enough on there, it'll break. This hasn't been far enough yet. I might need to flip my blade around here getting kind of dull, but for the video I'm just going to leave it. You'll know when it's cutting because you'll see the fur flying. There it goes. Ah. See it caught and it unthreaded. This is a right hand thread. 
and I'm running, oh, I forgot to mention, I'm running the lathe in reverse. So, that's, it'll unthread if you, if you catch the board hard enough with the knife, or with anything, really. You can see there, I cut it off. I snapped it with the pliers and I actually when it caught the one time it, it took and it skated across there I don't like that but you know what it's gonna have to be good enough when you tin the board you won't even see that now to, to get our final dimension what we're gonna do is we have this boring bar up above center so that it's actually going to cut into there. I don't know if you can imagine if you can picture that how how having it above center will take and we're not going to cut with the end like you would normally use a parting tool. We're going to cut along here in the middle somewhere. And that's why it has to be above center. It's kind of, might be kind of difficult for you to visualize, but when you, when you go to do one, it should become fairly obvious. So we get this back in here, I'll take my key for my chuck, and use it to hold the chuck still while I tighten the screw. Okay, now I'll show you what I mean. We're going to pull that, take that out a little bit with my cross slide, and then we're going to go over here. And right here, along the side here, is actually what's going to cut. So, engage the threads here. I don't have a carriage lock one of these days. I'll have to get it. We're still running in reverse. You can do it forward too, but you'd have to go on the back side. At least with this um, way this lathe is, the way this mini lathe works, it it uh, cuts with the to uh, cu uh, parting tool upside down, and with the lathe in reverse, even normally parting. Uh, it's just the way it works. So, get that rock, get your leg going, and then we're gonna just feed in with the cross slide, and it'll cut. It'll begin to cut, and you'll see. And you want to avoid. You're trying to avoid an interrupted cut because that will take your uh, screw in. Uh, unscrew your, your board like you just saw. So start slow at first until you get a good um, continuous cut. Actually, you know what? I'm going to feed this in even more just so we get up close. We want to get up close to the uh, tool here, to the, to the tool rest, the tool holder. close as you can. Ooh, okay. So just take it easy, just, you know, cut a little bit off, and then, ooh, we're getting a real nice curl there, can you see that? This is a nice board, I like this board. Now we're going to stop and check our dimension to see how close we're getting. This is a survival lasers host, so we want about 17 millimeters on this. Maybe just a tad, a shy under 17. Right now we're at 22, so we got a little ways to go yet. 196.8 thousandths. So, we want to go in half that, because don't forget on the lathe, and I made this mistake 
several times in the past few days because I'm still a beginner with this thing and I don't use it that often to where I'm used to the you know how the lathe works but just divide you know go in half that far so we got 196 we want and and don't go your full dimension never go your full dimension anyway you know how you can see all that junk in other videos Amazing how fast you can feed with a soft material like plastic and whatever the circuit board resin is made of. It's a resin composite circuit board probably. Okay, that's 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, Let's see where we're at here. Now I don't I don't understand what's wrong with this lathe, but it keeps wanting to overcut even when okay all right it didn't overcut so we're going in a little more maybe um let's see three oh th wait one one at ninety six uh ninety eight so yeah th about three thousandths from where we're at now is where we're going to here. Really, oh, this is this is a fiberglass board, is what this is. So we're getting some really interesting smells and flavors here. Oh yes, probably not too good to breathe that in. Now, when you're done here, when you're when you're cleaning up your edge, just take your knife and go around the edge, you know, at, a, at an angle like that, and just break that edge. Just go around with your, just by hand, and break that edge there. Just take your knife at about a 45 degree angle, and go around and around that edge until you're satisfied with it. Just whittle it down, take little cuts, just small cuts. Yeah, and if you can do this, if you had a CNC, I mean, by all means, use it. You know, put it on the CNC mill and use your helical interpolation and do it that way but you know I don't have that fancy junk so this is the this is good enough for me okay so now that you've got your circuit board cut it's time to etch and what I what you do what you want to do is I mean I've actually already done it here is I took the board and I sanded off the solder mask and then I cleaned it with a little asshole tone and then I just then you want to take your board and put it back in your lathe and try not to touch it try to keep it nice and clean so that it'll etch and spin it up and then just go over it with your sharpie where you where you want your trace to be 
it's kind of like think of it like painting on the copper for the sharpie and that'll give you a nice perfectly concentric etch and then you're all ready to etch So I hope this helps someone out there and thank you for watching.